Now that's going to look just beautiful. Welcome to the studio, it's Froyle here. Happy New Year! <laughs> I love saying that, it gets me really excited. Today we're going to be exploring metallic colours. Yay! Yes, I know, I use a lot of metallic colours with my painting and jelly printing and it's a whole lot of fun. I love the bronze and the copper and the gold of course. So let's pull them all out. Let's have a look at which brands have the different tints and tones of the colours and which of the mediums work better. Yeah, I think so. I think we should start the year with a little exploration. So how many metallic colours do you need? <laughs> all of them. Now it really didn't take me long to pull all of these out of my drawers. It really wasn't hard to find them all because I love the metallic colors so much. Now of course the golden iridescent bronze fine is my absolute favorite. I have it in both the fluid and the full body because I use it for different kinds of applications which I think we should have a little play with. But yes, you would have seen me use this a lot if you've seen any of my videos because I love it. But when it comes to bronze, not all bronze are created equal. Like the Liquitex bronze, this one is a much brownier color and it's really beautiful. There's nothing wrong with the color, it's just a different tone. And if we look at the Reeves paint in the bronze, that's a completely different tone as well and I love it. They've all got beautiful metallic pigments, they all print really really well and I think we should experiment. Let's do some single color jelly prints to actually look at the different shades and tones of these beautiful metallic colors and then you'll see what I mean. I mean my second favorite is copper. Yes, we'll have to do some of those and we could compare some of these golds because we've got the Liquitex in gold, we've got the iridescent gold fine, then we've got the Atelier brand which is an Australian brand in pale gold, they also do a rich gold. See, <laughs> you need to know which of these metallic colors you're gonna like the best. So let's do some jelly prints. And then of course, there's the eye zincs. I use a lot of the gold mine in the eye zinc spray. I love it. But it also has a copper buff and a bronze shimmer. I know, do they look different? Yes, they do. So we'll have to have a play with those. The Liquitex one in the soft body has a beautiful antique gold. We need to compare that. And then there's this one, which I've never actually used. <laughs> Do you know, this might not happen to you, but you see someone on the internet, they're using a product and you go, I have to have that. And then you buy it and it sits in your cupboard. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to pull this out today because I've never actually used it and I want to see what kind of shade of gold it is. Let's compare it with all these other beautiful paints and see which ones we actually do like the best. Right, so let's start with the absolute favorite iridescent bronze fine can't go past it love it use it on and off the jelly plate use it for painting use it for printing creating stencils putting on stamps really there isn't too much you can't do with this fabulous color i use both the fluid and the full body buy it by the bucket load yes i know it does cost a little more but baby I just have to have it <laughs> and, that's all. and that's all there is to it. <laughs> I absolutely love this color and if you put it on something and spray it with water it releases the beautiful green patina color, the antique look and that is fabulous. I always love that. It creates another element when you're working on your mixed media projects. So straight on, straight off got a beautiful golden bronze iridescent fine print. We knew it would be glorious. Right, so let's compare that bronze. There's a tiny little shimmer of it left on the plate, but we're not going to worry too much about that. We're going to do the next one with the Liquitex. Now I'm at the end of this tube, which is a bit of a shame. I don't like running out, but there's enough for a gel print. This is the Liquitex Bronze. 
It's kind of a more brownie bronze, not an antique bronze, but I do really like it. And I have pulled some glorious prints with it. The Liquitex Basics are fabulous. They're cost efficient paint. They mix really well with other colors. You can also put them with different mediums. They're very versatile. I do like them and I do buy them multiple amounts because they're just that little bit more affordable than the Golden in beautiful New Zealand. It might be different wherever you are, but the Liquitex in the Basics range is yes more basic in price i do like this color as well and i do like to use it interchangeably with the golden one because it's just a different shade of bronze and really can you have too many metallic colors i don't think so <laughs> see how beautiful that is that's a glorious bronze i really like it Right now, this is a Reeves Fine Art brand. That's also an affordable brand. It has a bronze and it's a different shade again. This one I get from Warehouse Stationery in New Zealand. So you know it's going to be more affordable when you can get them from stationery supplies. See how nice that color is? It's just a really beautiful shade of bronze and it's completely different to the other two. That's why you have to have all of them. <laughs> you can actually buy the Reeves paint metallic colors in a pack on Amazon. I have seen them. And if you want any of these paints or you want to know what it is I'm talking about, because I'm talking too fast or I don't finish a sentence, have a look in the description under the video. There'll be links there to the paints if you want to find out. Look how beautiful that is. Again, it's a different tone to the other bronzers. And it works really well, especially when you put them all together. Now I'm using the same paper, the same Japanese rice paper to pull all these prints. Yes, you'll find that in the description as well. So if we have a look at our bronzers, that's the one we've just pulled, the Reeves paint. This is the one before it with the Liquitex. See how it's a little browner? And that's the golden one. So they're all a little different. They're all called bronze. They're beautiful tones of metallic paints. I love them. I have to have all of them. Which one do you like the best? They're all really beautiful. And what I find when I put them together in a print, or in a painting or in a collage, they really complement each other. And of course they look fabulous with glorious shades of red. <laughs> so let's test the gold. What shall we start with? What about the golden iridescent gold fine? I don't find that I, oopsies, put out too much, use this as much as the bronze. It's funny how we get used to certain colors and we tend to have our favorites. Do we get stuck in a rut? I don't know. I could probably use the gold more, but I tend to always pull on the bronze. So we'll have to have a little look at these colors and see what we might like to use more often. Iridescent gold fine is this one and it's a beautiful gold color. What you would expect, quite pale, very metallic. Would work really well any of your prints or paintings, it is rather a beautiful shade of a pale gold. Okay, well shall we compare that with the Liquitex one? This one is gold of the Liquitex Basics. Let's have a look at the color of that. That is a really beautiful yellow metallic-y gold. Really nice shade. In the Liquitex Basics, how does it compare to the golden one we just pulled? Well, they're pretty much the same. <laughs> just saying. This one is the Liquitex one on the left. The golden is the one on the right. I don't know, man. Can you see much difference in the shade of the color? You know, I can't see much difference. So if you're gonna buy some beautiful metallic gold, 
Do you want to pay for the golden when you can get the Liquitex Basics? Just putting it out there, it's a question. That's what we want to look at. I think those two golds are very, very similar. Now, depending on where you are, you may or may not be able to get the Atelier brand. Like I said, I know what this brand is because I lived all my life in Australia, mate, <laughs> mate. So that was a brand that I used consistently. It has good coverage. It's quite a thick, heavy bodied paint. I really like it. I used to do huge, big, abstract paintings with a whole lot of the paint. <laughs> so I'm absolutely loving this particular brand. Now, you might be somewhere that has a whole heap of other brands. You should pull them out and give them a little trial and see which of the shades and the brands and the colors you really like the best. It's a good exercise to do because I don't think I realized that that golden iridescent gold was pretty much the same as the Liquitex. Yeah, just saying. Right, so this is the Atelier one. It's pulling a little on the plate. It might have got a little too dry, but the color's really nice. That's the hmm, pale gold. Let's have a look at the rich gold and see how different that color is. This one is the rich gold and you can already see just how more deeper the color is. Look at that, that is definitely a rich gold. I think I'm already in love with this one. <laughs> it's just a beautiful deeper tone of the gold, more like the gold bricks that would be at the mint. So yeah, I'm already loving it and I haven't even got it on the paper. That is just beautiful. Love, love, love that tone of gold. That's the rich gold. This one is a pale gold. It caught a bit on the plate, but you get it, right? It's a lot paler in color. This one's the Liquitex and this one's the golden. You can see all the different shades. It's really gonna be personal preference, what you like the most. Also, it depends on what you can get, what's available, which brands that actually reach your place of the world. But I think I'm liking the rich gold in the Atelier and the Liquitex gold because I know it's just that little bit more affordable. Liquitex also has an iridescent antique gold. Now, this particular paint is a fluid paint. And personally, I like to use it to scribble all over the plate and create incredible ink blots, <laughs> especially when I'm mark making or creating shapes or doing different layers. But today we're just going to roll it out because we want to test the color. Quite a nice gold. It's kind of like heading towards more of the bronze color. It's a really nice color in that antique tone. I think that's pretty nice. And it's got a really nice metallic shine to it. They also do a iridescent bright gold. So shall we look at that? Okay. The bright gold really is a bright gold. More like the other brands of gold. So, you know, depending on what you're looking for, if you want the bright or the antique look, depending on what you're printing or painting or creating or collaging or whatever it is you're doing. Just knowing what the colors are going to look like and whether they lean towards the bright side, the antique side, whether they're thin or thicker, I just think it helps. Especially when you're in a bit of a frenzy and you just grab something really quickly. <laughs> if you know your paints and you know your products, and what you're using, it just helps you to be more confident in what you're creating. I'm liking this bright gold. I think it looks great. It's very comparable to the other. It doesn't seem to want to come off my gel plate, but the color's really good. <laughs> the other color I use a lot of is copper. I love it. I love the rich, warm tones. It works really well with the favorite colors that I like to use. 
I'm thinking that the Reeves and the Liquitex are fairly similar in color tone of the copper and I don't have a golden one to compare because I ran out <laughs> but these paints are beautiful they work really well beautiful metallic tones so let's just pull a couple of these copper ones and then I'm thinking we need to create some prints especially now we have all these fabulous background papers <laughs> Beautiful copper, yes, I love it. The Liquitex is glorious, works really well. The Reeves paint is very similar. Or oh, we might just try the Atelier brand. But the coppers seem to be a lot more similar in toning. This is the Atelier one in the copper. My paint seems to be a little thicker with this brand at the moment. Maybe it's a little older. Or perhaps it's the humidity. Don't know, that happens sometimes. Not to worry, you just keep pushing on. It can only stick on the plate or pull or tear. Oh, really, is that so bad? <laughs> Does it really matter if it's not so perfect? I don't think so. It all becomes collage paper anyway. The copper looks beautiful. It's a great paint. It has great metallic pigments in it. And it's a beautiful, rich color. So if we compare the Atelier one to the Liquitex one, see how they're much a muchness. They're pretty similar. It's really hard to tell them apart. And once I move them off my table, I'm probably going to forget which one's which. <laughs> so I'm thinking that if you're wanting to buy some of the metallic paints, then the Liquitex Basics is a really good brand to use because the colors are just as beautiful as the other brands. They cover really well. You can buy them in packs, which make them a little bit more affordable. And yes, you do need all of the colors. <laughs> now, I've got some silver as well, but I don't tend to use a lot of silver. I only use it sometimes. You can get it in all of the different brands. It's beautiful and metallic. Every now and then you do just need a little bit of silver. And then of course there is the paints that you had in the cupboard that you bought on a whim and you haven't used. So, so pull those out, have a little look, roll out some colors on your gel plate or just paint them out. See what the tones are, compare them with the other brands and see which ones you really like the best. You might surprise yourself. Right, so what are we gonna do next? We need to do something with all of our fabulous papers. Now, what colors do you like to add with the beautiful metallic paints? Well, of course, really anything. Right? I like to use the warm tones because I'm more partial to red and orange and those kind of colors. So they work really well with the bronze and the copper and the gold, actually. <laughs> I like to print with them. I like to use stencils with them. I like to make them dramatic and add black to them. Yes, I know. But they do really work very well with the blues and the greens or the purples or the pinks or really any of the colors work well with the metallic paints because they're just so beautiful. They add a little glamour to your jelly prints or to your paintings and your mixed media arts. So have a rummage through your cupboard, pull some out, have a little play and see where the inspiration takes you. Because once you start printing, you know what happens. Why print one when you can print 10? <laughs> it just makes you want to keep printing, keep trying ideas, keep thinking of the next thing. Put one color down, put another color with it. And what happens if you create another layer? I know, it's all so incredibly endless. So what about the fabulous spray inks, the eyes inks? I use them all the time. I love the metallic shimmery shine that they create on both my jelly prints and my collage and my mixed media paintings. Really anything that needs a bit of bling or shimmer, I always tend to grab for these. Now I love the gold line. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the beautiful shimmer that it has. It does say non-clogging or anti-clogging, but I find they still clog up. <laughs> and you might have to give the nozzle a clean or a rinse, or sometimes I just change them with a different bottle. 
if it clogs up because you know I don't think anything's ever going to be non-clogging really you've got little pigments coming through a small nozzle you know what can you do and then there is the bronze shimmer oh I love this one as well and you'll see that see how different it is it really is more of a bronzy color which is magnificent gold mine is definitely gold and then I also have the copper buff because why would you have one when you can have three <laughs> depending on if I want gold copper or a little bit of bronze I particularly like to reach for these sprays. I find they cover really well, they're beautiful, they're very metallic, and I love them. See how good they look? And they'll look even better when they dry. Okay, I'm just going to try one more because I've pulled this out of the cupboard. I've never actually used it, even though I bought it because it was like on a whim. I don't know, it was a bit of a tangent. But it says translucent gel from the eyes inks from Seth Apter. And I've got a lot of those inks. So I'm thinking, right, wow, it's pretty thick. Um, it must be good because I like that brand. Translucent gel. Mmm, glaze effect. So, yeah have to try it it's a beautiful gold color we have to have a look and see what it's like it's very thin even though it actually felt really thick squeezing it out it's a really thin yeah I suppose glaze so <laughs> I mean that's what it is right so I'm going to put my stencil down that I've been using and I'm going to pull it on this page that I already have and just see what it does. I like the idea of a glaze effect. That sounds pretty cool. And you never know, right? I might have found something amazing that I've just pulled out of the back of my cupboard and it might send me off on another whole tangent. You just never know where your ideas will lead you. And it's a whole lot of fun trying. All right, what did it do? Oh, that's actually really nice. Have a look at that. Can you see how beautiful it is? It really is like a glaze effect. It's a pretty thin film of gold on top. In fact, if the paper was darker, it probably would have showed up more. That ghost print's going to be pretty fine. I could perhaps try putting it on this black tissue, but it's a very fine layer of paint and it might just pull all the tissue to pieces, but nothing to lose. It's cheap dollar store tissue anyway. Whoopsies, got a crinkle in it. Oh man. <laughs> now, did that pull it up or is it just gonna tear my tissue to pieces? Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. That's pretty nice. It's a beautiful little gold color. And I think it would be very interesting for creating other glaze type effects. All right, that's a bit of a winner. Might have to try that again another day. Thanks for joining me today. Which ones did you like the best? Which prints did you like? Which colors did you like? I know there's so many different options and there's so many ways to use them. You need to pull them out from your cupboard and see what you've got. <laughs> Sometimes we tend to buy a few things and then we forget and they're hidden at the back of the drawers. Pull them out, have some fun, a little experiment, make some prints. Oh baby, it's so good for you. Don't forget you can join my class on Patreon or Skillshare. We're up to class three for 100 days of collage. It's an epic adventure. It's going to be going all year. So jump in anytime. Everything's already pre-recorded. And on Patreon, you can join me for a live Zoom chat. So I hope to see your beautiful face then. See you next time in the studio.